Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to start up a cPanel and WHM server on a Linode instance. We'll perform the following tasks. We'll log in to Linode, we'll configure the instance and launch it, then we'll connect to WHM, and finally, we'll set the host name for the instance. The first step is to open your web browser and navigate to Linode's website, linode.com. If you don't already have an account at Linode, you'll need to sign up for one. After you get that taken care of, or if you've already got an account at Linode, click Log In. The Log In interface will appear. Enter your username and password and click Log In. The dashboard will appear. Click Create and then click Linode. The Create New Linode interface will appear. Click One Click. A list of available options will appear. Search for cPanel. Then click the I button next to cPanel. The cPanel profile will appear as a sidebar. When you're ready, click the X in the corner. Under Select an Image, select CentOS 7. Now you're ready to select the data center region for your server. Linode's regional data centers are located around the world, so select one that's either near your location or near your customers. I'll select this one. We'll need to select an instance size. Linode offers a range of plans with varying amounts of memory, disk space, and processors. I'll select this one. Make sure that you select one that meets the cPanel and WHM system requirements in the installation guide. At the time I recorded this video, we require a minimum of 1 GB of RAM and 20 GB of disk space, but we recommend at least 2 GB of RAM and 40 GB of disk space. I'll add a link to our system requirements in the video description. Then. Enter a label for the server in the Label text box. This will appear in the dashboard for your server instance. We'll set the actual host name of the server later. In the Tags text box, you can add tags to help you organize your servers at Linode. Next, we need to set the authentication methods to log into your server. Even though you might plan to only use SSH keys, you still need to enter a root password. In the Passwords section, enter a secure root password. Now, we need to add an SSH key. To start, click Add an SSH key. The Add SSH key sidebar will appear. Then, enter a label for the key in the Label text box. I suggest that you use ID underscore RSA. So, what goes in the SSH key public text box? If you already have a public SSH key, you'll need to copy it from your workstation to the interface. I'm on a MacBook Pro, so I'll go into a terminal session, change to my .ssh directory, then I'll run the cat space id underscore rsa dot pub command. Let's go back to the Linode interface and I'll paste the key information in the SSH public key text box. If you don't already have an SSH public key, you'll need to generate one. Let's go back to the terminal session and run the ssh-keygen command. Confirm id underscore rsa as the new file name. Then enter a passphrase, confirm it, and that will generate a new key. Your screen will display a confirmation message and a random ASCII art result. I'll run the cat space id underscore rsa dot pub command to display my new key. Copy it. Let's go back to the Linode interface. 
and then paste it into the interface. And click Add Key. There, we've added the SSH key. Now that we're done with the SSH key, let's continue. Do not select the backups or private IP checkboxes. You can configure those options later if you need them. And I think we've got all the options that we need set. Let's click Create. The server's profile interface will appear. You can click Launch Console to watch the installation process. However, do not interrupt that installation process. This process may take a while. Let's skip ahead a bit. When the installation process is done, it will display a message of the day that contains helpful links and a URL where you can log in to cPanel and WHM. Let's copy that URL into our browser and navigate to that site. Your browser may display a few security warnings. Your server starts with a self-signed certificate. Later on, you can set up a hostname certificate to secure your server and get rid of those warnings. A new interface will appear that asks you to agree to our software license. Go ahead and read it, and then click Agree to All to agree to it. Another interface will appear that will ask you for your contact information and the name servers that you want to use. I'll enter my email address as the contact. As for the name servers, well, the primary server will be ns1. Dot and the domain name that you plan to use for the server. For the secondary name server, enter ns2. Dot and the domain name. After you click Finish, the WHM interface will appear. Every cPanel and WHM server that's new on a particular IP address comes with a 15-day trial license. You can contact cPanel if you wish to buy a license, or you can buy one directly from within the WHM interface. If you see a warning about a new version of cPanel and WHM available, don't worry about that. As part of the installation process at Linode, cPanel and WHM is updating itself as a background task. However, if you see a warning about requiring a reboot to apply software updates, that means that there is a new operating system kernel available. You can take care of that reboot after you get things set up on your server. Speaking of which, let's configure the hostname of your server. In the search bar, search for hostname and click Change Hostname. The Change Hostname interface will appear. Enter a valid, fully qualified domain name, and click Change. A success message will appear. The server is now ready to configure, just like any other cPanel and WHM server. You can go ahead and update cPanel and WHM right now if you'd like. I'll include links to the documentation in the video description, okay? For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our cPanel channel. Thank you for watching and enjoy.